Dogs in cages on sidewalks, little of any shade. Others chained, gobbling up any treat from volunteers who spend their days in downtown LA's Skid Row, bringing supplies to humans and dogs. Dogs chained within an inch of their lives just forever and ever and ever in the hot sun, no water. Drive-by do-gooders organizers say they sent many of these videos to LA Animal Services. Out of it, 10 years I've been doing this, they've only taken two dogs. Now a petition called Saving Skid Row Dogs showcasing many of the disturbing images from organizations like Stand Up for Pits, whose director doesn't want her face on camera for safety reasons. But Rebecca Corey describes what happened just last week when they dropped off thousands of dollars of supplies. They are being stolen as they are being unloaded out of the car. And we have offered to spay and neuter 60 pit bull type dogs down on Skid Row, but they refuse to do it. Through the petition, she's demanding a meeting with animal services and the mayor. What is happening to the dogs on Skid Row currently right now, August 2023, is complete and utter suffering. It is irresponsible. They are not following the laws and people whose job it is to enforce the laws are not doing it. Anything else they say is complete and total bull There are tethering laws. You can only tie up your dog for three and a half hours. These dogs are tied up for days and weeks and months on end. There's neutering and spaying. A licensed dog has to be neutered or spayed. I mean, I would hope that animal services would go out and maybe enforce some of those laws. We got a statement from the director of animal services saying, quote, we take any allegations of animal abuse and breeding very seriously. Animal services is actively investigating this complaint. Myself and officers have been dispatched multiple times since the complaint was lodged. We will act, you know, act, what they're saying is that they're going to investigate as necessary to ensure the safety of all dogs across the city. We have put the statement along with the complaint on our website at foxla.com if you want to check it out along with the contacts of some of the people who are helping out in that area.